Hello friends. In this video, we're going to see how the counters work. First of all, we will head over to the OpenPLG editor. I will start creating a new folder. And I will name the folder as counter up. And thereafter, I will select the folder. And I will choose the language as the diagram. Now I will press OK. And I will drag this down and after that first of all I will add two power rails with pin number 10 on the left side and I will add another power rail with pin 10 on the right side after that I will add a block I will go to the standard function blocks and as you can see the CTU the up counter can be used to signal when a count has reached a maximum value now there are first of all I will increase the size of the block and then as you can see a little screen popping up and for CU the type is boolean and for R which is reset it's boolean and for PV which is preset value is integer and Q which is the output is boolean and CV which is the count value is integer and CU which is the input is count up and after this I will add some variables First of all, I will add CU, which is count up, and the type will be Boolean. Then, after, I will add another variable here, and I will address the variable as pulse. The type will be Boolean, and another variable will be Q. Another will be reset and the last one which is preset value and the type will be integer. Now I need to give the preset value and initial value. Let's give it 5. Thereafter, I will add a coil and I will name coil as Q. Then I will adjust block size. Then after, I will join the pins here. And I need to add two contacts. First one, which is CU, and another one is Pulse. Let me just copy and paste the CU, then I will modify it and address it as Pulse. 
Now I will join them in series and connect them with the CU pin. Then I will use the R1, which is the reset. And I will join the pins. Then after that, I need to add a variable here. This will be our preset value. Now I will add a contact. will be Q normally open contact and I will also add a coil I will add status block size Here we go. And the reset I latched here with the R to the count up block. Or you could just delete this, run here, and address the reset as Q, which is same as adding in another rung and then latched or latching the reset coil here. Now I will start the simulation. The simulation is complete. I will click on the glasses here. Thereafter, I will click on the coil as I modify the count up to true. Now, first of all, pulse means that the value has to go one and zero which means i need to force to true and as you can see the count value started counting and it is showing here one which means one pulse the block just received one pulse and i will force it to false then after i will force to two as you can see the count value is counting that two pulses just gone up to the block and so on now for the last time when I modified the pulse for the fifth time the queue got through then again it got false because I latched the queue here with the reset button now if you want to see it in let's say in a slow motion I will change the open contact here and I will use reset which is I will use another button here or another contact here to show it more clearly now again this Simulation is complete and I will click on the deeper classes. Now I will start pulsing it for five times. As you can see, the count value is counting. There's four and the fifth one. Now, as you can see, the coil is true. 
reset value was 5 and when count value is 5 the coil will go true and when I modify the reset to true the count value resets and it goes to 0. This ends our video here. Thank you for watching.